praise the Lord. This morning's quote is the part two of last week's quote, which is, treat your spouse the way you want to be treated. Amen. And this morning, I'm rather dwelling on the fact that the global crisis has brought all of us home where God first began with us. The first ministry that God created was marriage, right in the Garden of Eden. He's bringing us all back home to realize the things that really matter, that our relationships and marriages still matter. Now that we're back at home, we need to examine ourselves once again. I said, last week in from 2nd Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5 examine yourself whether ye be in the faith linking to all relationships especially marriage examine yourself whether you are still married whether you're still a married man or married woman in the faith because there's a way a married man or woman behaves especially when you're in the faith the way we speak to each other in the faith the way we dress even should, should, should be a time for us to question ourselves as a married person as a child of God the way you dress and conduct yourself should be in a decent manner the way you treat others spells and bounds of anger sometimes we handle and treat people knowing very well that we cannot take that same treatment ourselves now that you're back at home as a married woman examine yourself because there are characteristics of a married woman who is in the faith the bible tells us in proverbs chapter 31 that the virtuous woman the virtuous woman is one that keeps her home. So now that we found ourselves at home, the home that we almost turned into a transit quarters, we were coming and going. We didn't even know what happens with the children. You didn't know what happens with their homework. For some people, they didn't even know what goes on within the home. Now that we're all home, let's all examine ourselves once again. Married woman, this time it's not about your face powder. It's going to be about your baking powder. It's going to be a time that we're going to spend time to cook for these children, to take care of our household. Proverbs 31 tells us that the virtuous woman is not an idle woman. She's not a lazy woman. She's an, an industrious woman. A woman whose husband is praised at the gates your husband can only be praised at the gates if you do your homework well as a woman that is by godly counsel and constructive advice your husband will be praised at the gates every man who listens to godly counsel from his wife and constructive advice will be honored at the gates and respected at the gates to the married men, examine yourself. Are you still in the faith? Are you still a married man? You can be at home. You can have children. You can, may have come to the altar to bless your marriage. It doesn't necessarily mean you are still married. There are qualities we are looking for in a married man. At this time that you're back at home, I think you would have more time for the family. Let's have time for family altar. Jesus said he will come like a thief in the night. This atmosphere has proven to us that the word of God is true. Ask yourselves these questions. If the Lord appears today, is the whole family going? Have we had time to read Bible to the children? Have we had time to tell them what it means when the rapture occurs, which is going to happen? You wouldn't want to find yourself in heaven tomorrow and your children are back. You wouldn't want to find yourself in a good place tomorrow 
and your spouse is not there with you. This is the time that we must build our family altars. This is the time that we must talk to the children about Jesus. Teach them to have quiet time with the Lord. Come together to pray as a family. I got to accept Christ at the age of eight years and it's carried me through life, through the Good News Club. And I know that even as we talk to the children, they are confused and don't even know what is happening. But let's speak the word of God in our homes. Let's draw our children closer to know that Jesus is the answer and that there's a life in heaven that we're all going to be called to. So that tomorrow when the rapture occurs, tomorrow when the Lord appears, we shall all find ourselves together. God bless you.